With a lacklustre catch yesterday, the Young Bucks of the Southern Leader are the first in the water. And with money on their minds, they're taking matters into their own hands. So we've been told to dive the coast just back here. We've just left the boat and um, we've obviously gone against um, Dwayne's orders and we've come way past the coast and we've ended up on this island here. I'm not too sure how happy he's going to be, but I don't really care, to be honest. I'm, I'm just going to fight fat killers. Right fat killer. let's get into it, eh, boy? I really hope we find the Mac Daddy patch today. Opening up skinny sea urchins yesterday was nothing but frustrating. You're opening them up and you're just realising you're not going to make any money. This guy's down on that ledge, Jay, that's looking for real fat sea urchin. And um, I've got this, uh, this specimen here. And that's actually real physical quality, man. This is not what I want to see. I know there's some fat urchins out there somewhere. I made about 15 grand last month. I've been working like a bastard for the last seven days and I've probably made about 100 bucks. Like, I'm spewing, eh? I'm, I'm really spewing. Like, it's just not worth our while. And we've got to get in these wetsuits all through winter when it's about, you know, between five and 10 degrees and jump in here and make no money. So, yeah, yeah, she feel really I haven't dinghy boys before, so this is my first time. You gave me one with a hole in it, Dion. Yeah, mate, give me a new hand please, that's right. Not a good start. Thank you. Let me chuck that on board, look at that. Look at the hole in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay in there. My mistake, rookie mistake, already one mistake today. The old boys, Dwayne and Tim, are hoping today's search for cucumbers will be more successful. We saw a lot of potential in catching the cucumbers yesterday, but we wasted a lot of time in the process of keeping them in good condition. Today, we just need to go hard and catch as much as we can. We're going to try and streamline the process. We're going to process them on the boat, get them gutted, and then bring them back to the big boat. Plenty here. A lot of them are down in the weed now. While the cucumbers are piling in, the hunt for urchin is turning up neither quality nor quantity. Look at that. <laughs> it's not spiky gold, it's fool's gold. Because you feel like a fool raking it up. <laughs> just a bit of a joke at the moment, eh? Like, there's nothing of any value here to us. It's just really not looking good. Uh, it's not good. Not good. It'll taste good, though. Uh, can't find any good sea urchins, at least we can find some dinner tonight, you know. <laughs> there you go, Dan. How's that? Imagine. Everyone starts to get a bit down and disappointed when the product isn't up to scratch. But you just got to keep trying, go hard or go home. getting worse the further we go around, Raymond, like that is just trash, man. Just found a kid with no row in it, that's how bad it's getting. Oh, you're actually right. Yeah, there's nothing in there. That is the Kinaro. In comparison to what we've been getting, that's terrible. You can't even sell that on the black market, no. <laughs> We can't leave with no urchin, so we're going to move to another spot and hopefully that'll help us out. <laughs> we got one good one. We found one. Oh. We found the spiky gold. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fizzing, eh? I finally found some fat urchin. It's giving me a little bit of hope that there's some more around. 
still no good. <laughs> what? We just had Raymond come up here and just tell us about it. What, they're good? Yeah. Well, I don't know where he is, but... I just cracked another one of those, so it's I'm getting sick of this, Dion. She's not good, mate. Ah, just spot to spot, there's nothing here. It's very frustrating for me, too. So I have to eat all these... They may not be spotting any decent urchin, but the boys have noticed something else beneath the waves. So we dived down and found this massive tree of black coral, and it's just amazing that you can come across something like that while you're working. It just makes the dive so much more enjoyable. Swimming down this big ledge, mate, and checking out this awesome black coral. There, That's at least 20 metres deep. It's just beautiful down there, mate. Like, you get a massive fresh water layer on top, and you break through that fresh water layer, and it's just surreal. Don't even mention the sea edge, and the sea edge is just rubbish. I'm not even worried about that anymore. I just want to check out the black coral. <laughs> This is just becoming more and more of a leisure trip for us. Eh? <laughs> We've come here a couple of times and it's been absolutely crap. We've just caught the kinder, but today's just been leisure. <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I'm going to get a tan today. <laughs> but the fun and games can't last long, and the boys get back to the task at hand of finding urchin. We're just going to duck in behind this big island behind us. It's called Anchor Island. We're going to try the face of it around the other side. It's going to be a bit rougher, but hopefully we can find some better product, because... Uh, Right now, we're just not doing well, eh? It's just one of those days. It may look like there's a lot of urchin around, but it's quality over quantity out here. I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm over it. I just need a few days in Canada to help me out now. Not too bad, eh? They're doing it real quick. They're not that good, but we've got to catch something, right? Got to keep that market going. A lot of pressure. With time fading fast and not many options left, the boys have no choice but to haul as much as they can back to the main vessel. So, yeah, we're just coming back to the boat to unload our one bin we caught this morning. Um, we're just going to... Have to get the balls to tell Dwayne that it's no good and I'm um, gonna give him every excuse under the sun, but I'm just gonna have to see what he says. We're always nervous about the skipper, so yeah, here it goes. Stand by, watch his face. Oh, boys! Oh, only one. Dwayne and the crew of the Southern Leader, this trip in search of spiky gold appears to be a bust. That's what we're after, but a lot of, a lot bigger. Nothing but blood, sweat and tears, mate. That's bloody awful. We are just driving around the whole coast and just cracking and it was just... We found some of even no row in them, mate. Yeah, they were just empty. No row. Oh, they've all spawned. We were here about oh, three or four months ago and... They've got a good recovery, maybe 10, 11%. It looks like the boys are saying there's nothing left in them. So it's good for future because we know that they're spawning, but it's not good for us because there's uh, no money in it. We're going backwards at a rate or not. Dwayne and Raymond were hoping to go back with 16 dole or bins of urchins. We've got three now. We'll get a couple more, maybe three or four more. And that'll be a few bottles, not, not as many as you'd hope, but it's some to keep the markets going until we find some more fat ones. Definitely not spiky gold today. Fortunately for the old dogs, just focusing on sea cucumbers today appears to have paid off. We're smiling in the cucumber division, but we're not smiling in the sea urchin division. And the butterfish, well, that's just... Raymond isn't happy with his haul. At this stage, I haven't broken even on this trip, so I tell Storm and Dion we just need to get back out there and give it one more nudge. Hopefully find something soon, eh? Hopefully.
So yeah, what we've found here is actually far better quality sea urchin. So uh, you can see that rose a lot more fat. It's a lot more fuller. Thank God we finally found a real good patch of urchin. There's not long till we have to head back to Bluff, so we just have to get in and go hard. Now I know what it's like to be a thingy boy. Just keep eating the kinna. <laughs> oh. After their final push to get urchins, it's back to the southern leader to load on the last of the dough labs. And always eager to learn, Storm is trying to master the high ab. No, boy. Mark, you're making me nervous. Go down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Trying to learn, eh? It was, it's different than the sand next one, so like it's, it's all confusing, but yeah, no, nah, just getting a bit of shipment, Raymond. Must be bloody teach your kid to drive the high end day. With the southern leader loaded up and everything squared away, it's time for Dwayne to start the 14-hour journey back to Bluff. Yeah, she's a bit of a better day today. The cucumbers sort of come through for us. We've got a bit of, bit of a system down packed and probably caught about two or three times what we caught yesterday, so made it a bit, a bit more worthwhile. On the urchin front, Raymond struggled a bit to find some fat ones, but he got a few bins, so we'll see what the end result is after, the, after they weigh them up. And... Fourteen hours later, the lights of Bluff Harbour come into view, and Dwayne's worried about his slimy cargo. Oh, we're coming across TYY last night one of the bays. It gets a little bit rough and bumpy. And I was lying in bed thinking, Open all the bins weren't going all over the place down below in the hole. It might be a wee surprise for us when we open the freezer lid, but we'll see, hopefully not. <laughs> 14 hours steam, bang on, eh? And there's a boat parked in our park. Oh, we've got a steel boat, so we can usually just push them to the side. As the sun comes up, the crew work tirelessly to unload the southern leader. But when they get to the hold, Dwayne is holding his breath. This is the moment of truth. Hopefully she's not all over the place. Have a look. Ooh. Oh, they're all still on the trays. Woo. Lucky. Nah, they're all still in place. It's quite a bit of urgency keeping them cool and in good nick. They defrosted all the quality or drop them. And we're uh, losing money. Everyone's pitching in to get the cucumbers unloaded quickly. 84. 84. On, that's it. Yep. 84. <laughs> oh. 378 kilos. Uh, they used to do it no. in storm. No, it's not breaking any records, but at least it's a good start. Calculations are complete. Team Raymond, who focused solely on urchin this trip, only returned a total of six dolabs. A disappointing result that only made Raymond $250. Dwayne's team didn't succeed on the butterfish front, but their haul of sea cucumbers weighed in at a total of 378 kilograms, making Dwayne $2,016 this trip. Taking into account the overheads on this trip versus what was caught, it's a dismal result. It wasn't a uh, successful trip in terms of money gains, but we learnt a lot. We have to take the ups with the downs and hopefully have more ups than downs in the end. You just got to keep looking ahead for the next trip. Go, Scotty Dog! Go! Come on! We're running out of one left! Yes! <laughs> you win some, you lose some. You just got to dive twice as hard on the next trip just to make up for that. And I can't wait for it. Bring on the next one. We've got to hurry up. But some of the crew have other things on their mind than money. You've got to boost it now, eh? You're going to go straight to school. Throw the old education, you know? Can't just be an urchin diver. Yeah. What are you trying to say? 20 bucks for you. And Dion's brought home a new pet from the trip. That's a New Zealand octopus for you. Probably the same as every other octopus in the world. Just let it, just let it touch you. Just put one finger on. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to put a little bit of humour into what we do. Otherwise, it could just turn into a job at the end of the day. And we hope to have fun every day, eh? 
We're not going to harm this guy because they're real intelligent, these buggers. They're actually real elegant when they're swimming. You're free, mate. You're free to go. Next time on Spiky Gold Hunters, Dwayne and his crew head for Stewart Island to fill a large order of urchin. Always a fat urchin, man. Competition is fierce. Really excited for today. A crew member calls it quits. Sad to see him go. Hopefully it'll be the last good one. And extreme weather conditions put precious cargo at risk. You don't want a capsized boat in the Fovo Strait. That's happened enough. <laughs> <laughs>